And it was the same thing back during World War I. Same people ran World War I. It's amazing, but, uh, but uh, at the time of the Russian Revolution, where was Lenin? He wasn't in Russia. He was in Switzerland. Where was uh, Leon Trotsky, the communist philo key philosopher? He wasn't in Russia. He was in New York City working for Wall Street capitalist. And they gave him money, and they gave him uh, all kinds of support to go into Russia and take over a popular uprising and change it into a communist government. Lenin was the same thing. We all know that he was put on a sealed railroad car and traveled through wartime Germany that was at war with Russia and was sent on into Russia to take over the government and set up the communist system. And one of the people who helped facilitate that was a leading banker in Germany who also was very highly connected with German intelligence, and that was a fellow by the name of Max Warburg. Now, don't you find it passing strange that in World War I, Max Warburg, who was head of German intelligence and a big leading banker there in Germany, his brother, Paul Warburg, founded the Federal Reserve System in our country and at that time was head of the, of the financial end of World War I for the United States of America. Does nobody find that amazing? Here he is, Paul Warburg. And, and here's the house on Jekyll Island where the plans were laid to instill upon us the Federal Reserve System which is neither federal nor has any reserves, all right? <laughs>